Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your June 2018 reading. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. This is for the sign of Aquarius. month of June. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This could have already happened, could be happening now or in the future. What does Aquarius need to know to help them in June? Somebody may be feeling rejected, you know, somebody may be feeling rejected or you may be considering rejecting somebody, but there's also fear of growing old alone. You may be going through a midlife crisis of some sort. There could be a lot of competition in your life or conflicts. There could be, you know, you, there could be some mind games even. It, there is some sort of, I think this is an inner battle. I really do. I think it's an inner battle within yourself. I really do. Um, hmm. yeah, you have to master your emotions. That's what's going on here. You have to really master your emotions this month. Really, because I feel like there's a time, there's a disconnection within, okay? You're feeling, you may start out or at some point in the month feeling, feeling confused, feeling like, geez, I'm crow. I don't know what to do. And I feel like you guys go through this conflict but you you come out you come out of it heading in the right direction so that's great congratulations yeah you guys are bringing stability to your life you are you're being offered a new stability this is a new security this is for june you could be moving home you could be uh, moving into a new home you could be getting a a new car or uh, an abundance of money from some arena but either way this is a new security that's being offered to you from above after feeling left out in the cold after feeling alone after feeling rejected or rejecting an offer there's too much competition there was too much conflict so it looks like you guys had to take the lead that's what's going on here you guys have taken the lead to get your life back on track and because you know you're you've taken the lead and you've you're the boss it's like no, mm -mm. I'm not going to be involved in this drama. I'm not going to involve myself in this drama. You send that message to the universe and the universe offers you a reward of some sort. Okay. That's what it looks like. It looks like you guys are being rewarded for taking the lead. All right, for doing something, you're being, you are. It's like you found your confidence. You found the courage and the, your, the, focus that you needed that's what it looks like to me you found the focus and now you're taking action because wherever you were at the last month or previously there was no happiness there was too much drama and conflict it was like i don't need to be involved in this shit too much pettiness too many arguments too much disconnection so i feel like you guys just you can't put up with it anymore i can't take it anymore i'm getting the hell out of this situation so I feel like you guys are leaving a situation very quick, quickly in June. It's like, boom, I'm gone. See ya. And because you make that decision, you are given a new opportunity that is more secure and stable and abundant. Yeah, you guys aren't holding on. You're not um, resisting this change any longer. It's like, nope. I'm the boss of my own life. I am going to bring the structure back. I am going to take control. It's like you're dominating this month, Aquarius. You're the dominant person this month. In whatever situation you're in, you could have been dealing with a situation that with some sneaky individuals, okay? I think you were dealing with some sneaky individuals that didn't have your back it was like they brought drama into your life a lot of drama and unhappiness and I feel like you you probably put your sword up and said whoa whoa 
back up. Who the hell do you think you're messing with? Something like that. It feels like you guys are taking the lead and nobody is to get in your way because they, they can't hold you back anyway. It's like you got you have made the decision to move on from a uh, deceptive situation. It's like you were being deceived. You were being lied to. Who? And I think it was by more than one person. It was like five against one or whatever. You know, you were dealing with a group of people that was against you. That's what it looks like to me. And it looks like you're just like, ah, oh, bye, bye. I am way too good for this. I don't even need to be involved in this drama. <laughs> so I feel like you guys are definitely standing up for yourselves. There you are. You're standing up for yourselves. I'm not going to stay in this dead-end situation, whatever it is. You guys were involved in a dead-end situation, and you've decided to get the hell out of it pronto. Pronto. You're moving forward very, very quickly, and you're headed towards victory and success, abundance and stability and security, because you are the boss of your own life, and they aren't. You aren't my boss. No. Mm -mm. So let me just get this zoomed in. Better. Um, there's swift movement here. There's swift action being taken. You guys are letting go of something that didn't serve you, that caused a lot of drama in, in your life. It caused crisis. It was like you were in crisis mode in this situation. It feels like you guys found the, the strength within you to master your emotions, put yourself in the driver's seat, and get the hell out of there. So, yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Um, yeah, you guys were involved in something that was a dead end. It was a dead end. And you, you had to, you had to use your sword. There you are. There, I mean, you had to. You had to take swift action to release this situation that wasn't being, that wasn't fruitful. You weren't gaining anything from it. Oh, only drama. You're dealing with some petty people. Pettiness. I tell ya. Um, you passed the test, by the way. You did pass the test. It's like you're letting go of depression, anxiety, worry. See ya. You are. You have made a conscious change, Aquarius. You are totally, totally dropping burdens, dropping it, dropping the baggage. Uh-uh. Letting it go completely. I see a huge release here. You guys should be feeling relieved. I, relieved, relief. I see relief, you know, like that Rolaids commercial. I see a lot of relief here. You stopped a situation that was negative from continuing to control your life. That's what I see. You, you halted it. Halt. Stop. That's what it is. It's like, no. Mm -mm. Nope. This collapse that you've been through like a, like a, like you were ready to collapse from this situation. Like it was just overwhelming. And you dropped this overwhelming situation like freaking A, a some like a bomb. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. You aren't going to criticize me anymore. I feel like you were, you were, I felt like you were always being attacked by these people. Whoever these people are, you may have felt like they were attacking you. You were on your own. There was nothing you could do. You couldn't do anything right. And you knew that you deserved more. You were never going to be equal with these people because they were idiots. And it feels as though you just drop them like a hot potato. Hot potato, that's what it is. Yes, dropping it. You're dropping it. You're not going to play the game any, anymore. I'm not playing this game. Wherever you were at, there was no balance. There was no organization. Uh, there was too much chaos. It was just like, <laughs> there's no security here. There's no security there. Wherever this was, wherever all this drama was that you were involved with. So it's like you guys get in your chariot or on your horse or in your car and you put the pedal to the metal and you don't look back and that's what I see it's like I'm not playing your games go blank yourself wow so for June Aquarius it looks like you guys are the boss you are you're the boss 
Okay, with the Chariot card and the Emperor card, you are the boss this month. You're the dominating factor. You're stable, you're secure, you're making firm, solid decisions, you're standing strong, you're, you're communicating how you feel. And because you are taking the lead in your own life, the universe is offering you something better that is more stable and secure. And that is the truth. You should be feeling a huge amount of relief, like I said. I feel like the truth, like the clarity, yeah, the truth has come out. You guys are seeing the truth. You're speaking the truth. You're, you found your power. You have found your power to cut through the bullshit. You know, it feels like You're seeing the situation absolutely clearly, whatever it is. Your intuition led the way. It did. You were very highly intuitive at that time. You saw right through the bullshit. And it looks like you had good intentions, but whoever you were dealing with was greedy. They were stubborn. They were hot-headed. They were insensitive. They All they cared about was their job. They didn't care about you, whoever this person was that you were dealing with person or people who but there's one person in particular that was trying to control was trying to control you in some way and it feels like you were just like no I am totally letting you go I don't need this shit in my life that's what it looks like yeah there's no more chances there wherever you are at there's no more chances you have found something better or you will find something better Aquarius something that is better suited for you with this page of wands that is that could be a new suitor or a new job or a new opportunity that is better suited for you because wherever you are at there was no there's no chance there's no chance of it working out because the whoever you were dealing with these people or person they they lacked awareness of truth they didn't want to see the truth they're like blinded by stupidity i mean that's what i see so I feel like you're you've you're headed down a new path and it's pretty darn exciting and whatever wherever you're headed it's better suited for you it really is I think that you guys have left a situation that where the love or the um, love has dissipated there's no more love there you see the truth there was no victory and success to be had. Could have been with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I, you guys have made a conscious change to let go of something that had no more opportunity for emotional fulfillment. There was no more opportunity there. So it feels like you guys knew that there wasn't going to be any victory and success. That's why you had to let it go. You had to drop it. You had to make this change. You had to follow your intuition and do what was right for you. So I feel like Aquarius, this is a month of, of receiving something new and rewarding because you have manifested it, one, 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 you have, whether they're reversed or not. One, 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 you have manifested this conscious change within your life by taking action. You have taken action, and I think the action that you have taken has proven to the universe that you should be receiving something, okay? You are, you've done the work that you need to do, and you're going to be receiving a more secure, stable, abundant opportunity in which you are better suited okay it's better suited for you whether this is a new place to live or a new career or a new partner there is new opportunities being offered to you this month because you are being the boss of your own life and nobody is standing in your way congratulations there's a new opportunity we're gonna get you one of these Let's see what comes up this is for Aquarius I think that you guys are have dropped a negative situation and a new one is being given to you.
Forgiveness. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and it has the capacity to heal and transform. I have to tell you, I think that many of you have already reached this point. You have. I mean, yeah, you may, some of you are probably in the resentful stage, okay? Especially if while I was talking and I, I was saying, you know, go F yourself or go blank yourself, you're probably like, yeah, then you may not have forgiven yet, okay? Just saying. So this is, this is a, this is a message. Don't let whatever happened to this drama, these people that pff, sucked, bring you down. Okay, don't let them bring you down. Forgive the situation. It was a learning experience. You're stronger because of it. Let it go. Because resentment will just hold you back. And that will inhibit your new opportunity for coming. From coming, okay? So if you want this new opportunity of security and stability and security, make sure you forgive. Because if you don't, if you bring resentment along with you on this ride that you're taking out of this situation, then this will be stalled. And that is the truth. And here's the stall right here. So it makes complete sense. You will. This will be stalled because resentment is not a positive message to the universe. But anyway, this is what I have for the month of June. You guys are headed in the right direction very, very, very quickly. You are the master of your emotions. You are the boss. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Whatever you're thinking, whatever your intuition is telling you, it is clear. It is right on. Do not doubt yourself. And don't like let anybody try to make you doubt yourself. You know what's going on. Don't let them try to turn it around. Talk to you later.